Lord Cobran in 5 minutes with no stealth, avoiding as many mobs as possible, as well as a secret trick to make your runs much faster. Enter the dungeon. Talk to Narelex to receive his free Mark of the Wild buff if you don't have it. Run to the right of this raptor, then drop down. Kill the deviant raptor in front of you. This can either be a ravager which is pink, or a guardian which is blue. If it's a guardian, move it behind this rock so that its call cool for help is out of the line of sight of its nearby allies. Follow this pathing. Be careful not to pull any of the nearby mobs and patrols. If a patrol is in the way, let them pass as it's faster to let them patrol. Follow the water in the cave west. Just as a general rule of thumb, after this circular room there are about 3 patrols at any given point. Avoid them however you can, and avoid chain pulling more if you accidentally pull one. Once you get all the way here, run up this ramp on the right side to avoid all of the patrols and the mobs in front of you. I get slightly unlucky with timings here, and I pull the one of three patrols in this section, the Viper. Jump up here if there are any patrols coming to you. There are usually about three patrols in this area, and it's a matter of fitting into the gaps which are available in order to save the most time. Remember, it's faster to let them pass. Here's a prime example. The Druid Patrol and the Ooze Patrol are both in my way, but it's better for me to wait them out. Kill this druid. Be sure to burst them at low health, as druids can easily run away and aggro others. Using the LOS of the pillar, we're able to avoid pulling the viper. Make sure to turn on your enemy nameplates to see the mobs behind the pillars. We're going to be using this technique as much as possible to avoid patrols. Nameplate distance is 20 yards, which helps you to judge aggro range. As around 18 yards is the aggro range for yellow level mobs, and 15 yards or below for green mobs. From now on, hug the wall as much as possible. Here I make a small mistake and I pull the druid. You will likely pull an avoidable pack or two every run. You can get past the druid sometimes if she's statically patrolled away to the furthest point. What are static patrols? Static patrols are when a mob patrols no more than 10 yards from their original point. Unfortunately, nearly every mob from now on has it and it is a difference between getting past them and aggroing them. So make sure you have a keen eye and a sense of timing for when to get past. Again, we use the pillar to avoid another patrol, and we wait for the druid to move away before we move on, and again, save a lot of time. From now on, if we ever overpull too many elites, we can drop down on the side and then simply run out of the instance and try again. We spot the space between the patrol here and move in. You will have to kill this viper most of the time due to its close proximity to the wall. Then, when the druid and viper here are away, beeline it along the line of the wall to avoid pulling the pack. Keep hugging the wall until we get to the druid. This druid is very scary as she can chain pull the mobs around her, and there are patrols here. Drag her back if you can, then nuke her as fast as possible. Once again, we use the LOS of the pillar to dodge this viper, before we wall hug all the way to Cobran. You'll see that there is a patrolling druid here. I would heavily advise not killing it in this situation, but I saw that my lay was up so I decided to go for it. If you were any other class, it would have been faster to let it patrol back behind you, and using this pillar for line of sight. Run in and kill Cobran. Focus him as much as possible whilst cleaving or AoEing his adds if you can. Inevitably loot him for his robes, then jump onto one of these torches. Log out, then log back in. Exit the instance, reset it, then run back in and repeat. Do this for 4 more runs for 4 more robes until you're locked out for 30 minutes. Good luck. <laughs> 